we're going to use the product function to calculate our estimated profit for the summer of 2013 for easy ice cream sales so average number of sales per day is 50 uh, number of sales units number of ice cream fans i've got 32 and the average profit per sale is 49 pence now normally if i wanted to do a calculation on my total profit uh, for a single day i would say 50 times 32 times 49 pence um, i also want to uh, find out not just the profit for a single day but for the profit for this sales period so the number of days here so normally i'd have to say times that times that times that times the difference between these two dates so um, you could use a normal no multiplication uh, formula to do this but product makes it slightly easier let's just look at what it does pick up my product function so what i can do rather than saying that times that times that i can just say i want to multiply all of those figures together comma by the difference between these two figures so i'm saying that minus that it gives me my answer Okay, so that's the product function, just simplifies doing multiplication basically. What I want to do down here is I've got ice cream sales for June 2013, so I've got my different ice creams, uh, the number of sales I've achieved for each of those ice creams, and the profit per sale. So to work out my total profit, basically I've got to say that times that, plus that times that, plus that times that, plus that times that. Now, I can do that quite easily. I could go in here. See that times that. I could then copy that down. Um, I could then do a little sum function to add up those figures, and that would give me my answer. However, sum product makes the whole thing slightly easier. So what I can say is equals sum product. And what I'm basically saying is I want to say this array here, this set of cells here. I want to multiply by this set of cells here. Okay, so it's not going to multiply the sum of this by the sum of that. It is going to go through and it's going to say that times that, that times that, that times that. Now this works if the size of this array is exactly the same size as this array. Um, if you don't get that right, it will just return an error. So if I press enter, it gives me the same answers that I had over here. Now, another way of doing exactly the same calculation without using the sum product is to use an array formula. So what I'd say is equal sum, use my ordinary sum product, and I'd say this range times this range, close brackets, but then I'd press control shift enter, and that gives me these brace brackets on either side. That's an array formula which does the same thing as the sum product formula.